वेलकम अगेन टू के पी मेडिकल फंड ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम द एडमिन डॉक्टर मोजम सईद टूडे आई विल प्रजेंट द स्केपुला बोन आई विल डिस्कस द बॉर्डर्स द एंगल्स द बोनी फीचर्स एंड डिफरेंट मसल अटैचमेंट्स टू द स्केपुला बोन The borders of the scapula bone. There are three borders of the scapula bone, which are named as the lateral border, which is present on the lateral side, the medial border, which is close to the median plane of the human body, and the superior border, which is present on the top. All the three borders make a triangular-shaped scapula bone. There are three angles of the scapula bone. the inferior angle this one is the inferior angle which is between the medial and the lateral border the superior angle which is present in between the superior and the medial border and the third one is the lateral angle the lateral angle is in between the superior and the lateral borders The scapula bone has two surfaces. This is the scapula bone. This surface is the costal surface because it is next to the costal cartilages. On the other side, this is the posterior aspect of the scapula bone or it is also called the dorsal surface of the scapula bone. So this is the dorsal surface and this is the costal surface of the scapula bone the scapula is a large flat triangular bone that lies on the posterior chest wall between the second and the seventh rib this is the second rib and this is the seventh rib so the scapula bone lies between the second and the seventh rib of the human body on the lateral side the scapula articulates or makes joint with the humerus bone through the glenoid cavity this is the glenoid cavity of the scapula bone similarly on the lateral side the scapula bone articulates with the clavicle bone through the acromioclavicular joint this is the acromion process of the scapula bone and this is the clavicle bone these two bones articulates through the acromioclavicular joint now this is a general overview of the scapula bone The scapula bone has three prominent processes. This is the spine of the scapula. The spine of the scapula is present on the dorsal aspect of the scapula bone. It goes to the lateral side and form the acromion process. This red part is called the acromion process of the scapula bone. Similarly on the interior side or the costal side it has another process this is called the coracoid process of the scapula bone this one is the coracoid process of the scapula bone so in total there are three processes of the scapula bone these are also called the elevations of the scapula bone this is the spine of the scapula bone which forms the acromion process on the lateral side and this one is the coracoid process of the scapula bone there are three borders of the scapula bone this one is the medial border this one is the lateral border and this one is the superior border the lateral border of the scapula bone is a thick border it has many complex structures therefore it is called the complex border of the scapula bone on the lateral side there is an elongated portion this is called 
the head of the scapula. It is an enlarged part in which a cavity is also present. This is the glenite cavity of the scapula bone. The head of the humerus articulates or makes join with the scapula bone through the glenite cavity. This is the glenite cavity of the scapula bone. There are two small elevations, one present above the glenite cavity and one present below the glenite cavity. This one is the infra glenite tubercle. It is present inferior to the glenite cavity or the head of the scapula. Similarly, on the upper surface or the superior surface, there is another elevation. This is called the supra glenite tubercle. So in total, there are two tubercles in the head region of the scapula. The infraglenite tubercle and the supraglenite tubercle. This is the dorsal aspect of the scapula bone. The spine of the scapula divides the scapula bone into two regions. This is the suprascapular region and this is the infrascapular region. The region above the spine of the scapula is called the supraspinatus fossa. And the area below the spine of the scapula is called the infraspinatus fossa. So this one is the infraspinous fossa because it is present inferior to the spine of this fossa. Similarly, on the upper side, this is the supraspinous fossa because it is present superior to the spine of the scapula bone. Now come to the spine of the scapula bone. This one is the spine of the scapula bone. The spine of the scapula bone is a triangular shaped process which starts from the medial border of the scapula bone and runs laterally to form the acromion process on the lateral side. The acromion process is a part of the spine of the scapula. A notch is a depression on a border. The supraspinous and the infraspinous fossa are connected by a notch. This is the notch of the scapula. This is known as the greater scapular notch because it has a large diameter. This region connects the supraspinous and infraspinous region of the scapula bone. There is also an another notch on the superior border. This is lesser in diameter. This is called the suprascapular notch which is present on the superior border of the scapula bone. So in total there are two notches of the scapula bone. The suprascapular notch which is smaller in diameter and present on the superior border of the scapula bone and the greater scapular notch. This one is the greater scapular notch which connects the supraspinous and the infraspinous region of the scapula bone. This is the dorsal surface of the scapula region. Now come to the costal surface of the scapula. This is the subscapular fossa which is a greater fossa present on the costal surface of the scapula bone. The coracoid process which is present anterior laterally. This is the coracoid process. It is a bird beak shape structure. This is the coracoid process. Now let's take a general overview of the scapula bone. There are three borders. This one is the lateral border of the scapula which is present on the lateral side of the human body. This is also called 
the axillary border. This is the medial border of the scapula. The medial border of the scapula is present on the medial side. It is close to the vertebral column, so it is also called the vertebral border. The scapula has a superior border. This is the superior border of the scapula, which is present on the superior side of the human body. There are three angles of the scapula bone. This one is the inferior angle of the scapula bone. It is present on the inferior side. This is the superior angle of the scapula bone. And this one is the lateral angle of the scapula bone. So in total, there are three surfaces and three angles of the scapula bone. There are three processes of the scapula bone. The spine of the scapula. This is a larger process of the scapula bone which starts from the medial border and ends on the acromion process. This is the acromion process which is a continuation of the spine of the scapula. Similarly, it has a third process which is called the coracoid process. These are the elevations which have a greater length. On the dorsal surface, the spine of the scapula divides the scapula into two regions, the supraspinatus fossa or the supraspinous fossa, which is smaller in length, and the infraspinous fossa, which is present below the spine of the, of the uh, scapula and is larger in length. This is the dorsal surface. Now come to the costal surface. The costal surface has a larger fossa. This is the subscapular fossa which has a greater length. Now come to the depressions. There are two notches on the scapula bone. This one is the suprascapular notch. It has smaller diameter and present on the superior border of the scapula bone. The greater scapular notch which divides the scapula into supraspinous and infraspinous fossa. This one is the greater scapular notch. The glenite cavity. The glenite cavity is present on the tip of the head of the scapula bone. It connects the scapula with the humerus bone. This is the head part of the scapula bone. Beyond the head, there is the neck of the scapula. There are two types of tubercles. This one is the infraglenite tubercle, which is present inferior to the glenite cavity. And there is another notch, which is called the supraglenite tubercle. This is the deltoid tubercle. Here the deltoid muscle is attached to the scapula bone. So this was a general overview of the scapula bone. Subscribe KP Medical Front for more informational videos. Follow us on Twitter. Facebook and Instagram. Thank you very much.